Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, still on vacation in the mountains of Massachusetts. Have a break in the family scheduled activities, so I decided to play with some equipment today. So right now I have set up in the truck the Signal Hound USB SA44B Spectrum Analyzer there. Connected to the laptop computer, running the companion Spike software. And we're going to do a little RF analysis of the 2 meter band here in the valley that we're staying in, in Massachusetts, the Berkshires, and see what kind of radio resources are out there. I've already run it for a little bit. There's a couple of repeaters out there. There's a packet system out there. But this provides a good opportunity to demonstrate the power of a spectrum analyzer and how it can be used to assess what kind of RF activity you have in your environment and what resources might be available during an emergency, especially if you have to bug out and you're in an area you're not familiar with. A spectrum analyzer is much better at capturing what's out there than the scan feature on a typical amateur radio. So what I'll do now is hop in the truck and we'll roll over to the desktop capturing software and perform some signal analysis here in this valley in the Berkshires of Massachusetts. All right, we have Spike software up and running. This is the companion program for the SA44B Spectrum Analyzer. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to create presets. So we're going to go up to the presets and load the 2 meter amateur radio band. Load, 2 meter amateur radio band. And there we have a single trace in black that's clear and right. That's real-time transmissions taking place in a 2-meter amateur radio band here in this valley in the Berkshires of Massachusetts. I have the signal hound connected to one of my external antennas on the roof of the pickup truck here. So as we can see, we have a lot of activity taking place. So I'm going to add a second trace. We're going to go to trace here and add two. We're going to make this a max hold and now every transmission that takes place is going to push that red line up to the max hold like a, a footprint in the sand even if that signal goes away we'll still see that trace here in the red that's the max hold so as you can see there's a lot of activity now if I wanted to know what the frequencies were for each one of these spikes I'll come down here to marker we have marker one we're going to put this on trace two the red trace and we're going to do peak search and there's our first hit there, 144.390, and I think that's 144.400, and that's actually a packet station. There's some kind of packet network up and running here in the Berkshires. We'll add a second marker, marker 2, and we'll place it on trace 2. We'll do another peak search. And now it's sitting where the other one was, so we can go peak right. And there's a second frequency that's pretty strong in the area. 145.050, I would bet that's 145.00. We have some more activity here. We'll go ahead and add a third marker. Three, place it on trace two. Peak search. It showed up over here. We'll go peak right and we'll keep walking it over. There's a, another frequency here, 145.190. That's probably 145.200. So we got a lot of activity close in this area within this valley. And then we have some activity over here, and I already identified this as a repeater. So we'll add a fourth marker, marker number four, to trace two, peak search. And I'm going to walk that marker all the way over across all these peaks. Let's see where, we at, where we're at. And we're already there. There it is, peak four. And that's 147.239, so I bet that's 147.25 or 250. So there's four very large carriers in this valley. So that tells me there's a lot of radio resources available in this valley if I had to bug out to this location and was unfamiliar with this environment, what type of ham radio activity was here. And we'll try to demod one of these signals here and see what we can hear. So we're going to demod marker number three. There seems to be a lot of activity there. We'll come to marker three. We're going to click the button here to center. And now I can come up over here to utilities audio player and change the bandwidth to 20 kilohertz narrow that up and there we have a two meter amateur repeater and there we have a two meter amateur repeater here in the valley or in this area of the Berkshires we'll go ahead and cancel out of this and we'll go back to our scan 
So this provided a good opportunity coming up here on vacation to demonstrate the power of a spectrum analyzer and how it could be used to support emergency preparedness and emergency communications, especially if you have to relocate to another area and you're not familiar with that environment and what's operating out there. You can fire up the spectrum analyzer, look at the different amateur radio bands, the FRS bands, the GMRS bands, the MERS bands, run the spectrum analyzer for a while, use a max hole trace, see what's out there, write some things down with pen and paper, so you can keep a list of what frequencies are out there and then you can look at those signals and know who's operating radios in your environment and if you needed somebody in an emergency or disaster you can call out and get some help and as always thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel this has been the comms prepper with a field demonstration of how you can use the spectrum analyzer to develop a situational awareness of your RF environment especially if you have to bug out thanks for watching guys